Bitcoin exchange gets hacked and Bitcoin trades up as high as 19,000 in some exchanges. What's up, everybody? Bubba here for Bubba's Daily Update. And of course, that was the big story of the day was the, uh, the big hack of Bitcoin for uh, 60 or $70 million. In the meantime, in some of the exchanges, Bitcoin traded as high as $19,000. It's an amazing, an amazing model that's going on right now. And of course, they just keep firing it up and buying it and buying it. And, and we'll see. We all know that this chart pattern will not exist, whether it's a bubble or not, or whatever it is, we know that the chart pattern is going to see some pullback at some point. You cannot go straight up no matter what the product is. But in the meantime, that's where it is. I think it closed around 16,000. Uh, equity markets, uh, interesting, big up, big down. The S&P and the Dow ended up closing uh, on the upside. Uh, the NASDAQ and the Russell were basically up all day. They, they pulled back, but they never really went negative, whereas uh, the Dow and the S&P were pretty heavily negative for a while. Uh, volatility index continues to fall again, something that, that indicates that maybe they're not going to break them here. But of course, we do think that the markets have seen that the, 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 the near term top now, whether or not they break now, again, we're worried about the seasonality. You've got the jobs number tomorrow coming out. Uh, you know, that, that should have some story as to what's going to happen in the market. You also have the concern of the possible government shutdown. And of course, already talking about making a deal to uh, extend for two weeks again, which would bring it right up to Christmas, which would be the worst thing that they could do because then they'd lop a whole bunch of garbage into the new bill. So hopefully they'll get it settled or shut it down. That would be the, that would be the best for right now. Now, in, in general, uh, markets look, you know, okay, but their volume was light. I think there's a lot of things waiting on here to see what's going to happen tomorrow. Gold is under very heavy pressure here. Uh, tomorrow is a very key day for gold. It's got to close above 1265 on a weekly basis. So the weekly chart ends tomorrow. If it doesn't, then I think you've got some pretty serious problems. Oil, uh, a little bit of a rally, but nothing to really talk about. Bonds were up uh, over a point, or excuse me, down over a point, which put interest rates higher. Uh, I think they're going considerably lower, and we'll see how that plays out, especially with the uh, uh, announcement with the jobs number tomorrow. And of course, the uh, commodity space, grains continue to, to get that, that slow, they're dying that slow death. A little bit at a time, and it's just like you just need to see a rally. There's going to be a rally. Right. I think that grains are probably one of the better buys right now. It'd be just like buying a stock that you thought was a really good company. Grains are a really great buy, I think, in these areas here, especially wheat and corn. So I've been still a little bit pricey based on that 985 level. So I'd look to be a buyer of, of corn and wheat in some place in here. I think that's something that you want to look for. Uh, the meats were, were relatively flat up and down. Uh, I think feeders have found an area now that you want to start to look to see the other way now. We've reached our downside objective. Fats look to be fairly solid. And of course, hogs, we look for a continuation of the downward momentum that they've now built. But the, the general perspective here of the markets is, is the buyers should have come in today. It makes sense that markets were down all week. So you, you figure you're going to get some buying coming. So that didn't make, mean anything different. I think you want to watch uh, the volatility index. That was a little bit under more pressure than I thought it should have been. So I want to see what that looks like. We want to see the jobs. And we still have to be concerned about the season and whether or not Santa Claus is coming to town. So those are what's going on. Not a real lot to do. And again, sometimes it's better to observe the market than to trade it. There's, there's always a, a better time. And I don't think there's anything here signaling that you have to be involved today. So make sure you're very cautious and very careful in these markets. They're very treacherous and they're only going to get thinner. As we get closer to the holiday, they get thinner. In the meantime, uh, make sure you check out my highschoolinvesting.com site. Uh, we're, we're trying to educate high school's kids and teach financial literacy. Uh, we have about 300 high schools now. We're looking to get into all of them. But of course, that costs money. And I financed it myself for six years. Check out patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. Check it out for me and see if you want to give a hand. And in the meantime, don't forget to get the Bubba Show every day, 2 to 3 Eastern at libertytalk.fm. Uh, and remember, all right, the markets are the markets. We, we can't fight them. We can't twist them. All right. So tonight, football, Thursday. Atlanta is going to beat up on New Orleans. Uh, the game was Atlanta was the dog. Now they're the small favorite. We're going to take Atlanta night and we'll be back on Monday. Remember the government shutdown too? Could be something, maybe not. We'll see you back here on Monday. Everybody have a great weekend and we'll get the full Bubba's bottom line out over the weekend. Thanks everybody. This is Bubba's Daily Update. We'll see you later.